Hi everyone, welcome to Lemon Soda. This channel will help you practice your English skill. So without wasting further time, let's begin with the story. Chapter 2. The days blurred into weeks, and the weeks into months, but the ache of loss remained a constant presence in Karen's life. His mother's absence loomed large, casting a shadow over everything he did. And as the months passed, he couldn't help but notice the gradual transformation that was taking place within his father. Once a pillar of strength, Karen's father had become a mere shell of his former self. His once bright eyes were now clouded with sorrow, and his laughter had been replaced by a heavy silence that hung over their home like a shroud. He moved through the world with a weariness that seemed to weigh him down, his shoulders slumped with the weight of his grief. Karen watched it all unfold with a mixture of sadness and resentment. He longed for the father he had once known, the man who had taught him to ride a bike and cheered him on at his school plays. But that man seemed to have disappeared, replaced by this hollow shell who barely seemed to notice his son's presence. Their interactions became strained, filled with awkward silences and unspoken tension. Karen tried to reach out to his father, to bridge the growing distance between them, but his efforts were met with indifference. It was as if his father had built a wall around himself, shutting out the world and retreating into his own private hell. And so, Karen found himself retreating into himself as well. He buried his feelings deep inside, locking them away behind a wall of anger and resentment. He couldn't understand why his father had shut him out, why he seemed to care more about drowning his sorrows in alcohol than he did about being a father to his son. As the years passed, the divide between them only seemed to widen. Karen threw himself into his studies, finding solace in books and academics where he couldn't find it at home. He became a loner, avoiding social interactions and retreating into his own world where he didn't have to confront the pain of his reality. But try as he might, he couldn't escape the emptiness that gnawed at his soul. He longed for the warmth of his mother's embrace, for the sound of her laughter ringing through the halls of their home. And in his darkest moments, he couldn't help but blame his father for taking her away from him, for robbing him of the only source of love and comfort he had ever known. Their home became a battleground, the air thick with tension and resentment. Karen and his father moved through the days like strangers, their interactions reduced to little more than the occasional grunt or nod of acknowledgement. And though Karen longed for reconciliation, he couldn't bring himself to let go of the anger that burned inside him like a smoldering flame. But amidst the darkness, a glimmer of light remained. Karen's mother's memory was a guiding beacon in the storm, reminding him that even in the darkest of times, there was still hope. And though he may never fully understand his father's pain, he knew that as long as he held on to that hope, he would never truly be alone. If you enjoyed learning from the story, then like, share, and subscribe. Also tell me your reaction on the story in the comment section down below. See you again in my next video. Till then, explore more.